So in this video, we're going to find the equation of an ellipse when we're given its graph. So as you can see here, we've got a graph in an ellipse, and the first thing I would do is write down the general formula for an ellipse. So we've got x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared. That equals 1. Or we have, I'll write it here, y minus k squared over a squared plus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. And the question is, how do we figure out which one of these two do we use? Well, the way is to figure out whatever the major axis is, that needs to be the a squared. And in this case, the, ma the major axis, as you know, is always whatever one is longer. So in this case, the y axis is longer because that's a value of 5 and then all the way 5 more, which is 10, whereas the x-axis is just 4. So the major axis needs, the a value needs to be under the y, because that is the longer axis. And then the value of a is just the distance from the vert vertice right here, all the way to the center, which is just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So a is going to be 5. a equals 5. Then B is going to be a sim is, can be found out in a similar way. It's just going to be distance from the center to the the vertice. So that's going to be one, two. So B equals two. And we know, as we know, we're using this one because the Y is longer than the X. So and then well, HK is just our center. HK is just zero zero because as you can see, the center of this uh, ellipse is at the origin. So now we can really just plug and chug and see what we get. We're going to get y minus 0 squared over 5 squared, which is 25. Then we're going to add x minus 0 squared over b squared, which is just 2 squared, 4 equals 1. And then we can simplify that a little bit. y minus 0 is just y squared over 25 plus x minus 0, x squared over 4 equals 1. And then we've gotten, we've gone from this graph into this equation. Thanks for watching. I hope this was able to help.